So when we last left you, we were in Florida. We had to run back through our home base uh, around Athens, Georgia. Our dog, Jack Jack, he had to have a tooth removed. We are excited. We are headed to New Orleans for our first actual visit there. We have passed through several times, but never actually had the opportunity to stop and stay for a minute. So what's the thing that you want to see the most? Bourbon Street. You want to see Bourbon Street? I want to go on a voodoo tour. I bet too. I want some gumbo, some jambalaya. What's those things that you say? Cafes. At the Cafe du Monde. It's one thing about Jack. Whenever we start moving around and sweeping and closing slides and things, the only place that he wants to be is right there. Has anybody else got dogs like that? He knows it's a travel day and for some reason he thinks we're going to leave him so he has to go stand guard in the truck so that he's ready to go. Fallboard Brewing Company. I guess that's the way it. F A U B O U R G. Fallboard Brewing Company. New Orleans. So we just got here. Drop the drop the trailer. Get set up a little bit, and then we're gonna go explore New Orleans a little bit and kind of get a lay of the land. We'll carry you around with us. So after a long day's drive, we uh, took off, rode around through the French Quarter and the Beast, which is just challenge, check, check. to say the least. Check. And then uh, got back here and just really didn't feel like doing anything else this afternoon. We're going to get fired up again tomorrow. Order a pizza, have it delivered, get a flight of beer, hang out at the Harvest Host. We are moving 2.6 miles down the road to an RV park where we're gonna stay for a couple of nights, empty the tanks, go visit New Orleans, and hang out for a bit. We have arrived at New Orleans RV Resort and Marina. A uh, small campground, kind of in a, an industrial area, but well kept so far. We just arrived, don't know much about it. The only thing I found out so far is the water pressure is pretty low. And I think I read that in a review somewhere, but the scenery is good. And I'll turn around here so you can see our chairs out back. The scenery overlooking one of the inlets to the Lake Pontchartrain. Uh, the ships off over to the side over here, the paddle hill boat. So we'll just see how this goes. We have got our coffee and Finally got beignets. Finally got a beignet. That is more certain than one human should ever have to One thing to keep in mind if you come to Cafe Du Monde is that it is cash only. So be sure and stop somewhere and get you some cash before you come over. Cathedral Basilica, one of two historic sites which make up the Catholic Cultural Heritage Center of New Orleans. This cathedral was constructed in 1851 
It was built over the foundation of the colonial 1727 church. This church has been the city center of worship for over 280 years and is the oldest active cathedral in the United States. Sights and sounds of Bourbon Street. Another bucket list item for Donna to check off. There's get to hang out on Bourbon Street for a minute, even if it is the middle of the week, middle of the day. Still something to see. Lots of stores. Beware of the street vendors. They will try to suck you in in a hurry, won't they, Donna? Very quickly. Very quickly. On there, she seems to have a mark on her back. I do. <laughs> Checked off your bucket list item. I did. <laughs> You've been on Bourbon Street. But it puts you in mind of being on Duval Street, River Street in Savannah, Duval Street in Key West. It's kind of got that same feel to it. A party town. Yeah. So, Which there's, no, there's nothing wrong, wrong with. with. We can say we did it. We've done it now. Walk, walk the streets of New Orleans. New Orleans has got so much history and the architecture and everything else that goes on here. So we're going to see if we can find some of that and some of the history stuff. So we've been out on the town trying to find us some gumbo, something local. We ended up with gators. alligator balls and bodine balls. Alligator and bodine. Got some gumbo. Red beans and rice, and you got what? I got crab cakes. And crab cakes, so let's see how it goes. And we ended up here at the RVM Marina uh, restaurant to get it too. So. so the food review. The uh, um, red beans and rice was really good. Crab, crab cake? cakes were good. Right. The hush puppies were different. Not that they were bad, yeah. they were just different. The gumbo I thought was really good. Oh yeah, the gumbo was the good. The gumbo was good. Now the alligator, eh. Ugh. No. Not that it was necessarily bad, just I think it was just what was our cup of tea. So I think it was the texture. Maybe that's what it was. So. <laughs> but all in all, not bad. Oh, yeah, we'll get up tomorrow and find something else to get into. See you soon. Thanks for watching. Stay tuned for part two coming soon where we explore more of New Orleans.